वेलकम अगेन टू माई चैनल ऑर्गेनिक एंड हाइड्रोपोनिक अर्बन ग्रो क्रीम फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू हार्वेस्ट अवर जिंजर विच वी हैव ग्रोन इन टू अवर हाइड्रोपोनिक सिस्टम एज अ ट्रायल यू कैन सी ओवर हियर वी हैव ग्रोन द जिंजर ओवर दिस हाइड्रोपोनिक सिस्टम विच इज अ मीडिया बेज ग्रो बेड वी हैव सोन दिस जिंजर इन टू मंथ ऑफ जून एंड नाउ वी आर इन टू द मंथ ऑफ एंड ऑफ जनवरी सो इट इज ऑलमोस्ट सेवन मंथ्स which was for which we have grown this ginger into this grow bed now you can see that most of the ginger leaves are now dried up and this is the indication where we need to start taking this ginger out for our consumption or for the storage now if we don't dig out the ginger at this time and keep giving water then it is all the possibility that our ginger plant may got rotten and will lose all the production so it is either we should stop the water fully or we should remove it from the coco peat so today we are going to harvest this and in the end we will see what type of output we have got from this coco peat grow bed we are also going to make a small analysis of what we have put as a input weight and what we are getting out as a output weight so first we need to harvest or dig out this ginger now we are going to start this harvesting harvesting is very simple here first we need to remove all the leaves dry leaves which is on the top so once we remove this leaf then we will know the position of our ginger plant into the coco peat bed then we need to remove some of the coco peat from the top so we can see the ginger plant over here now carefully we need to hold this whole clump of the ginger and take this out so here is this broken but we will take this all out and this is what we have got from this plant so here you can see this is the ginger what we have got from this plant and you can see the good amount of the ginger we are getting from this small area so likewise we are going to harvest all over ginger and then we are going to collect it and weigh it so that we know what is the output or what percentage of output we have got from this hydroponic coco peat grow bed media so first we will complete our harvesting and then weigh this ginger in the weigh scale so friends now we have dig out all the ginger tubers in a cluster in the around this small area this is around 2 feet long area by 1.25 feet so roughly it is 2 and 1/2 feet area square feet of area and we have five plants or five cluster over here now we have collected all this cluster over here which will collect into this bucket so we need to remove some of the coco peat sticking still sticking to it and we are collecting it as a first instance you can see there is a multiple multiplication on this ginger that we'll see at the time of weighing but first we are collecting this and then we'll weigh it so this is what we got from this five cluster and now we will be weighing this we will also remove some of the coco peat which is stick to roots and now we will wait so friends now we have bring all this ginger which we have collected from our coco peat grow bed now it is time to wait now before weighing we have pre weigh this plastic bucket it is around 190 g now we are going to weigh this with the ginger now it is coming around 1 kg and 30 g so if we deduct the weight of the basket 190 g so it will be somewhere around 840 g of the ginger what we have got now this is the ginger we have got from the five cluster so per cluster we have got around 168 or 170 g of ginger now we must understand that we have got this 170 g of ginger from around 20 to 25 g of the ginger piece so if we take on the higher side 25 g of the ginger piece then we have got the ginger around seven time a little more than the seven time ginger from the one piece now if you see the this single piece we have got developed from the a small piece of the ginger and if you count then this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and some nine the small one also so 
we have got the eight time multiplication similarly if you do this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and one small so similar kind of production we have got from this ginger so if we weigh it along it is around 160 170 grams so you can say that from the small piece of ginger we have got this much quantity or multiplication of the ginger which is good enough so this is a, one of the average production what we have got from the our hydroponic trial now if you see from the area point of view this ginger we have got from the around two and a half square feet area only so if we divide per square feet area we have got around uh, 300 gram little more than 300 gram per square feet area of the hydroponic area and which considered to be very good yield compared to the area so this is how we have our hydroponic ginger style is got the good success next year also we are going to sow this ginger hydroponically with some difference into the formula we may use the stronger and the different change in formula and try to get a multiplication around 10 times so how we are going to do it i am going to explain while we are sowing it again into the month of may or june so till time make your preparation and be ready for growing the ginger into hydroponic system friends how do you like my way of growing ginger into the coco peat bed please write me back into the comment box and if you like my way of working with the hydroponic please give me thumb and share this video to your friend so they can also start growing ginger hydroponically and get the good yield from the small area happy growing